What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Over the past month, month and a half, I think I've spent a total of maybe six days at home at my official residence, the place that I have on my ID. The rest of the time, flying back and forth, taking care of business. Where are we supposed to be going? Wow. Just landed in Minneapolis. I've never been here before personally. Aside from the weather being a little bit gloomy, I hear it's a nice city to visit. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's popping here in Minneapolis. We're just gonna take it from there. So we'll go and catch an Uber. You know, one thing I looked at for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the time of the year or what events are happening right now, but all of the rental cars are super duper expensive, which is cool. I don't really care for driving anyway. And my hotel, like I always like it. It's right in the middle of downtown, right in the middle of everything. Like a 15 minute walk away from the convention center, which is one of the reasons why we're here anyway. So yeah, we just gonna catch the Uber down to the hotel and then public transportation or whatever like that, everywhere else we need to go. See her? It's the one that don't wanna be bothered with me no more now that she's here. It's like four dollars, four dollars something. Now that her coaches and her friends are here. Don't stop me. Can't take her nowhere. Okay, say what you gotta say. I'm gonna put this on, you know, put it on live, so. Say what you gotta say. We left at like 445 and everything. I don't like either one of them right now. Her? I'm about to go in the streets and explore and find out what's happening here in Minneapolis. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. That's good, that's good. Stay dry out there? Yeah, right. Trying to. Guessing that they make their own stuff here. That's pretty cool. All right, tell me. After our little tiff. It was I, a tiff? We had a tiff? I mean, you know, we had a little minor disagreement. I tried to make it right by giving Anton a hug, and he said no to me. It made me so angry. Because why would you say no? First of all, why would you say no to me wanting to give you a hug, first of all? Secondly, you knew that I was trying to make things better between us by just, you know, giving you a hug and hugging it out. But what was you I angry know. about? I don't even remember what we was arguing about. But you honest. but you remember being angry that you couldn't get a hug. <laughs> yes. This is this is women. You know what I'm saying? Like this is the dilemma that you have with them, why they don't hmm. That looks nice. What's going on, big dog? <laughs> Yeah, it's a depot. It's cool. It's connected to 7th Street Entry and uh, First Ave. Uh -huh. So they've got a decent tap. they got a lot of like signature cocktails and uh, a bunch of signature like, you know, like burgers and tacos yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and shit with like fun names. Like um, a lot of performers eat here before they go play at 7th Street. So they have a really? burger called The Stage Fright. Really? Like that. yeah, <laughs> That's it's, funny. It's Let me check this out. Why not? It's so happy hour right now. Oh, wait a minute. Always happy. He ran out. They really fighting, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Welcome to Detroit. I mean Minneapolis. I wonder why they just started fighting. The black boy just ran in there and jumped on top of this boy uh, with the backpack on. Wasn't these two boys kissing? 
Uh, yeah, I think so. Next day at the hotel, didn't really do a whole lot yesterday after the bar or whatever. I will say before I even get into the city and before I really get into my workout that this hotel is one of the most beautiful hotels that I've ever seen from a design perspective. And I'm talking from a UXer's perspective, you know, a person that really for a living looks at how things are designed, how it's laid out, what's, you know, what's the easiest way to access or do a certain task. Of all the hotels that I've ever stayed in, I probably love this the most. Now I'm not talking about it's the most beautiful hotel as it relates to gaudiness or how much gold you can put on the ceiling or anything like that. I'm talking about just flat out, beautifully laid out, simple, elegant, dope. I like the way things are set up. I like the little, certain little features that they have um, that I don't see in other hotels. But yeah, so far I'm really loving Minneapolis. Realistically, I'm just a big city guy. I like bigger cities instead of the suburbs. I think you guys already knew that. I prefer to have an urban core versus being out somewhere far where a bunch of grass is and I don't even care about water like that. Like that's not even a big deal. But yeah, let me get to working out. What is that? That whole shimmy thing that you got going on? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm I, You ain't got to explain. If we can somehow solve for the cold, we're going to be A1. Big city, no cold, great public transportation, like Minneapolis, Detroit, New York, Cleveland, Cincinnati, all of those great cities, no cold. Am I asking for too much? We're going to walk over to a bar slash breakfast spot that I think is local. As you know, I try to stay away from chains. We are here for a specific reason, specifically Leslie. Leslie is out partying with her friends. She here for a Taekwondo tournament. But hopefully I get to see a little bit of Minneapolis and explore a little bit before I go, especially in the downtown and maybe in the surrounding areas, see what's popping here and then play it by ear as we go along. That was really good. And I ate dessert first. It's a lot of construction going on here. That's always a good thing, I guess. What was the name of, the, of that place that we had? In-house or something? In-house, yeah. Yep. We're gonna have to get the exact name. That place was good, bro. It was really good. That place was slapping. And all of those desserts. I think I might have to go back and get some dessert. <laughs> dessert. We did come to Mall of America. Just a bunch of big stores, nothing major, but I figured I'd come and check it out because it's one of the big things here in Minneapolis, but why not? Catch the bus here cost like two dollars for a bus ride or something like that so come out here and just see what's popping i'm not a big fan of malls but the sheer size of this place considering that it got roller coaster rides and it's like a carnival with stores so that's pretty cool let's see what rita's doing i spot rita <laughs> you can laugh <laughs> Who knew NYX had their own store? It's amazing. It's amazing, Rita. It's amazing. I don't personally get it, but I don't think it's for me to get. Okay. So. Definitely not for you. But it's like four floors of stores. Ah, you like that? Four floors of stores. I guess if you really focus, you can actually see like every single store. Whatever, it's just a mall. You can't get lost in a mall. Even one as big as this one. I got another thought as I browse this mall randomly, right? How come everybody is like living their best life, doing their thing, staying a lane? Like what's with all these things that's going on nowadays? How come it's not okay to just be a regular person or a regular guy? 
it's okay to just be normal and regular. You don't have to be any of these extra, like even when people post a picture nowadays, it's like, don't, I can't go forward if I'm still looking backwards. Like it's always like a saying or something like that. Just be regular. You can just be a regular person. I think it's cooler now to be normal than to be all extra and making it seem like you're bigger than what you are. I'm trying to retreat to be smaller, not bigger. Oh, you want to be on the vlog? Okay, oh, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Everything. Don't worry about it. All right, I am going to get some Peloton or Peloton or whatever it's called equipment. But I'm not going to get it to the end of the year because it doesn't make any sense to still have a required for, requirement for my gym membership. Hey, this is the first place where I've seen a, uh, the Microsoft store. Right from the Apple store. But you know what's so funny? The Microsoft store looked very similar, which was very smart to the Apple store. Except for that, instead of having the posters, they got the screens. But yeah, I am going to um, get one, but I'm going to wait until the end of the year. Patience. Patience. We're going to put it in the budget. Look how beautiful that is. I've been really obsessing about this iPad Pro. I don't know what's going to happen. I didn't plan on this, obviously. We got this phenomenal salesman. My guy Joe right here. And I think he's selling me on this, so... We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna play it by ear and see what happens. Cause it doesn't even make sense. If you're gonna get an iPad Pro, really why would you get the 11 use. inch? It really depends on use. Um, you know, if you're gonna be using it for like a lot of editing or a lot of like word processing stuff or mm -hmm. whatever, it just makes sense to have the bigger screen cause you have more room to be able to do stuff with yep. it. Um, that's why I went with the 12.9. All of this is school. extra though, so like- The keyboard the, is extra, the pencil here is extra. How much, how much more extra? Um, 130. I went ahead and bought it, unfortunately. Every time I go out of town to some city, it's always a big purchase. Although this purchase is not as big as like maybe say the Rolex in Chicago or something like that, but I always wind up spending a bunch of money when I go out of town because I'm just browsing. That's just how it happens, I don't know. And I like being sold. I like sales. We're gonna run over to the Apple store and get a keyboard. No, you put the email in there already? Yep, A-Dan, no. I'll take the email, it's cool. Parents, kids, me. One of the difficult things about going out of town is that a lot of the different things you got going on, like one of the properties that I have, the air went out. So then you, you know, call the technician out. That's just all, that's always one of my biggest fears is when you out of town, you hope that stuff don't happen, whether it be at the restaurant, whether it be at some of the properties, whatever. You just hope things don't happen, and if they do happen, you put things in place to make sure that you can get it taken care of in any case or the event that something happens. So we have put things in place. We always put things in place. But then again, like I indicated, it all you just don't want anything to go wrong. That's not even that's not even an option. Things go wrong when you're there. Things go wrong when you're not there. That's just life. But things are well in general. Still here at the Mall of America because uh, we expect it to be gone by now. So I did buy my iPad Pro, I bought my Apple Pencil and uh, Apple Keyboard. Then my daughter called me and was like, hey dad, we want you to come and sit with the parents here at the restaurant, eat and all that other type of stuff. So doing all of that and then trying to mix in, you know, the stuff that Leslie wants to do because like I indicated before, the reason we're here in Minneapolis is mainly because of her. I know she competes tomorrow at her uh, Taekwondo competition here at the convention center. Looking forward to that. About to get back in here to the parents and go from there. Hey guys, I think Rita's about to go over it in Fashion Nova. There it is. Rita's going to Fashion Nova. downtown Minneapolis right look beautiful everything all around me I will say it get a little sketchy out here when it's start getting dark outside just a little bit a lot of bit a lot of fire trucks a lot of police activity a lot of ambulance activity 
It's a lot of seedy characters. And I was just on a train on the way back to downtown Minneapolis from the Mall of America. Got into it with a couple of little hood rats. So I was just chilling for like five minutes. I had my AirPods in. And then I took my AirPods off and she was talking about me. And it was all loud and stuff. And then she started cussing out the people. I'm like, hey, her little friend started talking. Oh, your hood rat friend talking too. Listen, I'm from Detroit, bro. But I was still chill. I was calm because, you know, I ain't. I ain't for making no scene, but they made a big enough scene themselves. Cause I thought it was funny. You know, that, that ain't no real smoke to me. That's light. There's so much activity, seedy activity happening out here on the streets. I don't know what to think right now. I'd be remiss if I only captured the good and positive parts and not the other parts that i see that go along with it it is what it is man you got to capture it all the same way i capture it for my own hometown in detroit i capture the good and the bad i'm gonna do the same everywhere else i go another day in one of the one of the twin cities haven't visited st paul probably not gonna get to it on this specific trip um and then when i was talking to my uber driver he was saying that st paul was a little bit more, I guess, suburban. Friendly. It's friendly, more friendly. <laughs> yeah, I learned that last night. It, it's definitely something interesting here. So St. Paul got its own downtown. Yeah, it's real small. It's not a nighttime downtown. I got you. So, in her words, St. Paul is a little bit more friendly. On our way to the Minneapolis Convention Center for the real reason that we're here, and that's to go to Leslie's competition at the Nationals for Taekwondo. Should be a fun time, looking forward to it. She's been looking forward to it for a long time and she's been out the entire trip, hanging with her friends, having a good time, going to the Mall of America, going out to eat, just doing what she do. That's why you haven't really seen her a whole lot in this specific video, but let's go see Les, let her do what she do, and then I'll see y'all later on in the video. thing about Leslie is that she remind me so much of myself when it's time to perform she's a hundred percent zoned in she ain't paying attention to nothing to nobody she ain't here to have fun she here to win and she got so many medals so many gold medals or whatever and she's really thrown herself into this and dedicated herself to it she don't miss a practice at Taekwondo like three four hours a day sometimes and this is all her own doing like this ain't me saying you gotta go and nothing like that. She's at the point now where I just let her kind of figure out where the direction of her life is going. And I just guide her as far as from a moral perspective and teaching her the right and wrong things to do. But as far as her passions and things like that, she's, she's thrown herself into this. And I think it's really dope, especially at 11 years old that you can really dedicate. Most adults can't even dedicate themselves like this, so. And she don't like losing. And I completely feel her on that because I'm not here for eighth place even third or second place trophies. It's about the win or bust for me. So she is the exact same way. I guess she got it honestly.
더 열심히 해야 되고 다 사실이야. 연습할 때 Go left. because of you. It's been absolutely real. I think the, the second part of the trip was absolutely a lot more pleasant than the first half of the trip, specifically today. Today was just really cool. Played chess in a park, chilled, hung out. Weather seems to be perfect. Fly out tomorrow, another eye-opening city, city that I've never been to before. And I'm sure it's a lot that I still haven't seen, but uh, something new, something different. So. I guess I'm going to holler at y'all later and see y'all on the next video. Peace.